So we lacquered this yesterday, basically to protect the gold leaf. Um, today we're going to flat it down with 600 wet and dry. What this is going to do is get rid of the excess lacquer. As you know, we don't like to put any more paint on than we have to. Unfortunately, with technical paint jobs like this, there's always going to be more paint than you would ideally like, but you just can't get away with it. You know, you've got to, you've got to do these in certain layers, especially with the candy colors. So long and short of it is, back to sanding. Remember, I'm not a painter, I'm a sander. So we go all over the frame. And the aim of this stage is to get rid of as much of this sacrificial clear coat as we possibly can before we sand through and touch the gold. If we touch the gold, we'll mark it. And that's really bad. So basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sand this. I'm gonna press pause on the camera and I'm going to hit the record button every now and then so you can see the progress. But we're basically aiming for a nice smooth finish all over the frame, or as smooth as I think we can get it without damaging the gold. Right, so we finished the flattened back of the frame. As you can see, there's nothing shiny left. All the lacquer's flatted back. The logos are all flatted back. And we're ready to fix this logo. I'm not happy with the distribution of white around here. We didn't quite get it right. So we're gonna fix this white area and then we're going to add the red fine detail over the line. Um, I'll set you up on a stand and we'll make a start. Right, so we're going to touch up this white edge around the British Railways crest here. As you can see, it's not quite right, so we'll fix that. This happens quite often, if I'm honest. I'm not going to pretend to you that every time we paint something, it's right first time, because that is very often not the case. Um, you just expect to have to do a bit of this. And when you do um, a sacrificial coat of lacquer like we do most of the time, it's no real hardship, to be honest, because you're only talking an extra hour of messing around to get everything just right. So it's no biggie. So I'm just going to free hand mask these outside areas. 
it's easier than trying to stretch a vinyl box around it same shape because the box will distort as it goes around the tube so you won't get it exactly the same you're better off just following the lines of the first box you did one thing we do try and do whenever we're painting putting stencils over the top of a fairly fresh clear coat so this was only a couple of days ago that this was clear coated or a couple of seconds ago from your perspective <laughs> um, we do try and work as quickly as we can because the stencils and the fine line tape they're all brilliant when it's to do with base coats but as soon as you're starting to stick them onto a fresh 2k clear coat they do tend to get very sticky we're guessing it's something in the release of the solvents coming through the lacquer that react with the glue on the um on the vinyl that we use so we do tend to try and keep them down keep the time down to a minimum that the stencils are on so basically i've got bex to cut a box slightly undersized of the first one and got her to cut out a couple of reference letters so that I know where to stick it on. So try and get this H just right. And then we would hope that the S will follow suit. You can see how the curvature of the frame has affected how that vinyl sat. So we'll go with that. And then I will slightly adjust You know what? We won't go with that We'll try again Do you want to say bless you to Bex or shall I? She's allergic to me, that's what it is. Been too close to her today. You right in there? I think we're pretty close with that. So we'll give it a dusting of white and see where we're at. That's covered. So Get these masks off as quick as possible. I'm going to be really careful as I peel this mask over the gold because the gold is fragile. Although we've got good adhesion, it's not the same as paint on paint. So we do have to be careful whenever we're doing anything over the gold. So that's much better. I'll decide if we're close enough as we finish this. But we've got a much better edge around that British Railways logo. So the next steps are going to be to put the red fine detail on this gold line. So I'm going to pause you for a second and then we'll get on with it. Now, I might regret filming this because this is going to be really tricky and I very much doubt that I'm going to get this stencil on 
in the right place first time. So don't be surprised if this takes a few attempts. Um, because again, you have a problem when you go around a shape like this where the vinyl kind of takes its own shape a little bit. So you can put the vinyl on in one area, spot on, but if it doesn't stretch the same way as it goes around the tube, and bearing in mind where we painted this first time, it was an outside piece of vinyl, and now it's an inside piece of vinyl. If it doesn't go around and stretch in the same manner, you're knackered, because the head and the front of the body will line up, but the tail and the rear of the body won't be anywhere near, so we're just gonna see where we end up with this. A good way to do it is release tension on the application tape from the opposite side so it just frees up the middle and then you can try and tweak it to where you need it to be. I'm not making this easy for myself, looking over a camera. Right, that's pretty good. You know what? Might actually get away with that. So we're basically painting all of these bits red. This stencil here shifted a bit, so we have to move that where it needs to be. That one there shifted a little bit. Right. I've got to try and mask around the outside of the line. This is going to be near impossible and I'm probably... You know what? I'm going to chop this into bits so that I've got more, a ch more of a chance of getting it all lined up because I don't want any spray to go outside of the line itself Otherwise, we've got a serious clean-up job. I'm only going to be putting the lightest amount of colour on here. Um, so hopefully we're not going to have an issue. Again, I'm going to peel this off. And then pull this to where I need it to be. This is a bit of a struggle. Fix that little gap in a minute.
you always know when a man's concentrating because he actually shuts up for a change. So, now I am going to pause the camera because I need to make sure this masking is absolutely spot on. So I'm going to just double mask over the areas that I don't need to get to. And then I'll come back when I'm ready to paint it. Right, so I've masked all the little areas I think I need to. Now, I'm going to put as little paint on as I possibly can. So we're just going to dust it very finely with white to begin with, to give the red a chance to pop. So the absolute lightest dusting of white. It doesn't need to go white. Just need to kill that gold off a little bit. And now it's time for the red. It's quite powerful red, so again, it won't take much of this. We've never actually painted over gold leaf like this with a with a base colour, you know, to give a different effect of it. So I'm as interested as hopefully you are to see how this is gonna look. Now again, get the masks off as quick as we possibly can to Reduce the risk of any nasty, oh, we're peeling some of our white off that went on earlier. You see it? Not a big deal. I'll fix that off camera. Bex, have you got a good knife for removing the stencils? So, I might have said to you earlier in this video, or one of our earlier videos, you get good knives and bad knives. If they're too sharp, they're a nightmare. And if they're too blunt, they're a nightmare. This one's just tipped over to being a bit too blunt, so I can't get the edge with it. So, my lovely assistant, Rebecca, he loves being on camera. Steady on. Too much wine again. Hopefully has given me a knife that's going to do the trick. She's giving me a crap knife. Bex. That's no good, that one. Thank you. Try not to fall over on the way here this time. Maybe have another glass of wine. I'm sorry, what was that? Thank you. That feels better. Yeah. So straight away, once you get used to it, you realize whether a knife is worth carrying on with or not.
Right. I think we're pretty good. Just got to tidy up this white bit around here and here where that tape lifted some of the white we put on. But I would say we're there with this line. Right, so we've made that logo good now and we're ready for our final coat of lacquer. I'll show this being lacquered and then I'll show the flatting and polishing um, part of the job that really finishes it off 